yes, the real estate market has slowed and we have seen prices come down, but we are still in a low inventory market. So if you are ready to get into the wild world of real estate and navigate that low inventory market, then stick around because I have some tips and tricks for you. home buyer and you are out wandering around and you're looking for a home, you may have an agent, you may not have an agent, you might just be looking for open house signs to wander into, maybe you're looking at an app on your phone, but at some point in time you find yourself in the sales office or a model home of a production builder. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks today on how to navigate that and some things that you are going to want to look out for, some red flags. Hi, my name is Rebel Ann Mueller and I am a realtor here in the Boise and Treasure Valley area with Better Homes and Gardens, 43 degrees. North Real Estate. I moved here from Napa, California, not Napa, about 19 years ago. Now I'm lucky enough that I get to help others just like you do the exact same thing. Down below in the description is my relocation guide. Be sure to grab that. If you have questions, please feel free to text, call, or email me. I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. But today we are talking about what to do if you wander into a model home of a production builder and how to manage that. And here in the Treasure Valley, we have a lot of different production builders and they all offer something just a little bit different, but the concept is typically the same. They have neighborhoods that they build and develop. They have the same floor plans. They may change the front of the look of the home, which is what we refer to as the elevation of the home and different finishes and upgrades inside. And some of them just have standard finishes and packages that they offer, but they do offer that new construction feeling, which a lot of people people do love. So to my point, if you end up in one of the production builders model homes, just know that their salespeople are great and they do want to help you out. However, if you register with those production builders and give them your information, they will assume you as a client and they will not allow you to have representation of another agent helping you out. You can technically have an agent help you out, but they will not compensate that agent for you. So just know that at the end of the day, what that really means is they're just saying that they're assuming you as the client. And if you have an agent that you have been working with, you have been touring homes with that has been beaten feet on the ground and working for you, then they will not get paid for their time, energy, or effort to that they have put in to help you. So keep that in mind. Some of the reasons why you want to have an agent with you when you are working with these production builders is because the processes are slightly different, but sort of the same um, for a lot of these production builders. If you have an agent that has the experience of working with these builders before, that agent can provide you with their knowledge and experience and what certain things to keep an eye out for or what you can expect and how to work through some of those problems as you are going through that process. One of the most important things you need to note when you're walking into these production builders model homes is that the agents that are there are very, very helpful and it's their job to sell you on those builders homes and they are great at what they do. On occasion, especially with the national builders, they will offer you a discount off the price of the home if you don't bring an agent with you. That should be a red flag. If they don't want you to bring an agent with you, you might want to wonder why. They don't want you to have somebody advocate for you, somebody to work in your best interest, and somebody who brings their knowledge and expertise and experience to the table on your behalf. Um, Keep in mind that these sales agents are great at what they do, but there are other ways that you can save money with these production builders by negotiating, and we'll get right into that. One of the first things in the negotiations that you're going to want to be aware of is the price. We're a non-disclosure state here. so. The only thing that the public can see is the list price. You will never see the actual sold price or if there's any concessions made by the seller at closing time. So if that seller gave up six, $8,000 in concessions, come closing time towards closing costs or financing or whatever it may be, you will not be able to see that. So they know this, that you don't have access to that 
and they could tell you, well, this home is the exact same home right here and you want this home and this is the list price here and this one's already sold and this one's for sale and you go ahead and secure that home in at that price, but you don't know anything that happened over here with this transaction and that it actually went for less and that there may have been some concessions made in that but they're banking on the idea that if you don't have an agent, you don't know any of this and they'll get you in at that price without any concessions. Now, considering what I just talked about depends on if you have lending or if you are cash. Now, if you are cash and you're willing to purchase this home at the price that they're telling you that it is with zero concessions and you go ahead and purchase it, then that is the price you are probably not thinking about getting an appraisal done on that home to make sure that you are not purchasing it for more than what the fair market value at that time is. Now, if you come in with lending, your lender is going to have you have your lender's appraisal anyhow. However, within that purchase and sales agreement, you would want to make it very clear in there that if it does not appraise for the offered value or the offered amount on that purchase and sales agreement, what then happens? Will the builder come down to that appraisal cost or do you have to make up the difference in cash at closing? How are you going to negotiate that? So what happens if you find yourself in that situation? One of the first things you are going to do is you are going to call your agent. You're going to say, hey, I am at this model home in this community and I am talking to X, Y, and Z so that we can get online and register you as our clients. The next thing or the next option you have is you can just tell them, no, thank you. I don't want to provide you with my information. We're simply just here looking. We are curious and wanted to get some information. The other thing that you can do is you can hand them your agent's card and say, I am working with this agent. You still want to call your agent though and make sure that they get you registered because they can say, I never received the business card or it can get lost in, in the shuffle. Um, and then what if you don't have an agent that you are currently not working with and you find yourself in that situation, I would definitely let them know that you are working with an agent. I would not give them your information. And the reason why I say that is because you may change your mind at some point. You may say, no, it's okay. We can just, you know, go directly to the builder. And that is fine. If that is what you choose to do, I don't recommend it. But, um, if you do, that is fine. But if you change your mind, then you do have that option to go, you know what? We kind of thought about it for a day or two. We think we do want an agent to represent us. And then you can go find an agent that is going to represent you. Um, advocate for you, look out for your best interests and bring their knowledge knowledge and expertise to the table on your behalf. I hope you have a great weekend. If you have questions about anything I just talked about, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. Don't forget that relocation guide down below and I hope you have a great weekend.